is up everybody this is a Ruminare. what we got some European war 5 going on right here right now check out my new general Caesar he's only level 40 but he's already had a Lee Shimon and he's 50 and has better gear so I don't know how that happened anyways bros I wanted to throw down a Germany conquest and um having had just beaten the gunpowder age I decided to go one down to the discovery age so that's what we're throwing down here gonna use Khan and Shimon to take Paris gonna use Washington and Napoleon to take London and go over to the US Genghis Khan and Lee Shimon will probably send them to South America and my combo group of Alexander and Caesar, I'll probably, I don't know what to do with it. It's a pretty, it's a pretty crappy grouping, actually. Two infantry generals. Um, I don't know, we'll just have to see how they do. We'll have to keep an eye on Caesar's health, being that he's only level 40. Boom, London, you knew that was coming. There's no stopping. There's no stopping Washington and Napoleon right off. I mean, you can wear down their health some, but first battle, you don't you don't have a prayer. Kind of the same with these guys, although Genghis Khan has been known to take a mass amount of damage for no good reason at all. I mean, yeah, see, like, I don't know, bros. Although I agree with that. I mean, Napoleon was there, was a major capital. There's, there's six units. I will take that damage. Get my princesses down. I always forget to put these down right away. Get my revenue going. Move some stuff around here. Oh, there's a, I wanted to say something about upgrading the age for somebody who didn't understand. The discovery age thing right there, there's a black bar underneath it that will fill up as you gain experience from killing and taking stuff over. Once it goes all the way green. Let's see here. Once it goes all the way green, that the discovery age thing will start flashing, or whatever age you're on will start s flashing. That is when you can upgrade to the next age, and then you can upgrade your troops. So like, if you're starting out in Discovery Age, you can already upgrade the facilities a lot if they haven't been upgraded already. But if you're playing like Classical Age, there will be no upgrades possible until you fill up that experience bar that allows you to go on to the next age. I hope that clears it up. I'm just gonna get rid of these guys. I don't need you. I got... Make some room... For some better troops. Actually, that was not better troops. <laughs> I had actually not planned on bringing them in. I was gonna make some, and then I re I just... I have no money. All right, so I, I'm going to leave Russia alone. I'm going to leave... I'm pretty much going to leave that whole eastern side alone. I'm going to focus on heading west and south. I 
I mean, he just took out Manchester Glasgow by himself. He didn't even appear to take any damage. That's how badass Washington is. And Washington and Napoleon together. It's just, it's not, it's hardly not even fair. There's too much OP. Um... Let me send these guys up here. Grab this real quick. Since it was already weakened by those three archer units that gave their lives. Anyways. Um, so after this series, I'll do some of the earlier ages. I got quite a few requests for like uh, classical and medieval age. But I had this as a request and I was just like, you know what? I want to do Germany as well. So I'm going to throw this down first. Then I will get to your bros earlier age conquests. First thing I want to do, the very first thing I want to do, the very first country I want out is France. France in European War 5 is like the Swiss in World Conqueror 3 for me. They just piss me off. Ever since that one episode I made where they just backstabbed me, I just... I have to take France out as, as quick as I can. I mean I'm still I'm still pretty shaken up about that. I'm I'm hurt. It it hurt my feelers. I thought me and, and France had something. I don't even remember who I was playing with. I don't remember what country I was when that happened. Was it the U.S.? It might have been the U.S. I think it was. Um... Seems like Greece always goes out pretty quick. I'm going to be keeping an eye on old Greece. Like I said, Alexander blows, I think. Some of you might like Alexander. I think he blows. I'm like curious to see if Caesar at level 40 is better than Alexander at level 50. Right now, Alexander has a little bit more health. But that could be because Caesar doesn't take no shit. He, he runs and guns. He may, maybe charged out in front of Alexander and started kicking ass. Dude, you do not want to attack that. I've been there, bros. Oh my god, that's a, that's a... For some reason, that city will chew up your troops. I mean, most of the time I'm sitting there sending a bunch of common troops because for some reason that's all I end up with at, at the point where I get down there. But even when I sent generals, not the badass generals I brought into the game, but like, remember I, I made that whole army unit of generals. I attacked that and I had two left and they were like half dead. You don't want to screw around down there, I can tell you that. 
Right, we are just going to keep working our way west. Knock out the British, knock out the US. Yeah, keep moving that capital. Where'd you put it? San Francisco. Are you guys ready for some more? I mean, you're one guy short, but Leon only has one unit. Let's just, let's do it. Take my mega glass of tea here. Yeah, you move your capital too. And now I'm going to force you to move... Actually, man, this should be it for them. They shouldn't be able to move it. Uh, you shouldn't be able to move a capital like in twice in the same round. But they were able to. I think that's a new aspect of the game. No moving. If, you, if your capital gets ransacked twice in a round, you shouldn't be able to move it again. I, these guys are probably going to get their ass kicked. Yeah. I was thinking they were, they were pretty crap units. Although I think they could have beat one unit. You guys couldn't beat one, one unit you couldn't take out. It's a little bit disappointing. See, I got a little... Bit of experience up there on my experience bar for the next stage. It moves pretty fast when you're in like lower ages, but when you're in like discover age and you're in gunpowder age, it moves slow as shit. I mean, I'll probably be halfway done with this conquest by the time I can update, upgrade to the next stage. Didn't work for you, did it? I did not expect them to attack there, though. They only had three units. They, they normally won't attack unless they have a full six units. Where is the other? There's not. Okay, I, I can never remember if there's one in between 80 and 100. I don't know why that's so difficult for me to remember. F fear the crapper units. Alexander, Caesar going for it. See, look, boom, did you just see that? Alexander has lost more health than Caesar. By just a little bit, but still, bro, he's, he's 10 levels lower than you. He is, 40 is discovery age cap. 50 is gunpowder age cap. Here they go again. Tino Chitatelan. Perfect pronunciation. Google couldn't have said it better. But yeah, that place that I just call Mexico City because of the name is, is too trips me up. Um, it's a beast. It's probably the the hardest city to take, I think, which makes no sense.
Okay, the U.S. and the British are battling it out over there. I mean, Toronto has became, like, the Revolutionary War. I don't know if I want to attack the Spanish yet or not. I don't know if I'm prepared for that. I mean, just look, attack after attack. They, they're not even losing any troops there. The Aztecs are just like, whatever, send your, send your units time and time again, we got this. And they will, until I get there. Because when I get there, I'm, I'm kicking some ass. In fact, I think I'll probably send my main generals through there, because I don't want to sit there for like... Six turns. Sending, like, not crap units, like the best I can build in that area, but still not that great. Dijon, we gotcha, bro. Alright, this should be a good battle. Probably not as good as the Madrid battle, but that's gonna be coming, but it should be pretty decent. I just seen Alexander take a, take a pretty decent amount of damage there. I'm telling you, I told you Alexander sucks and I don't know why. He is getting bested by a level 40. Well, I guess since I attacked one spot, it's, it's all out war on the Spanish now. I don't know, my plan was to head right over to San Francisco, but I think I might swing south and take out Washington. Ah, oh, here they go again. Didn't even lose a unit. Keep it going. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be pushing pretty hard in this conquest. I ain't, I ain't gonna stop too often. I'll go this way first. Knock the French out. This this right here finishes the French off. They're done. That that felt good. That felt amazing. Oh, Caesar took some damage there. Well, hmm. Maybe he wasn't better than Alexander after all. I know he will be at when they're the same level, though. Have some... Take some crapper units with you, bros. Here they go again! Damn! And still didn't lose any troops. Oh, 
really guys, you're gonna you're gonna come up and try to take this. From the two most badass generals in the game. Let's see what happens. Oh, you wanna lose some more troops, that's great. I will allow you to do that. But bros, I think this is as good as any place to call this episode and um, save the ass-kicking of the U.S. and finishing off the British for our next episode. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the shit out like and subscribe and I will see you back here for our next upload. Peace. Brumanati out.